Is it really worth it to spend all your time and effort to make homemade pasta? Or is it just more convenient to buy your own soba pasta? We shall find out in today's episode. Hey everyone, it's Aaron once again and thanks for joining me back in another episode of The Office Chef. Now I was an ex-hotel chef for the past 14 years and now I'm a full-time food writer for chefree.com. So for today's episode, I'll be making pasta, more specifically beef bolognese pasta. Now some of you may have seen this petrol contraption in front of me on the right. It's actually a pasta machine which my friend Tsinghua kindly gifted it to me. Wow, so touched, thank you. So today, we'll be comparing store-bought pasta versus two types of homemade pasta. One will be a flour and egg pasta dough and one more will be just semolina dough with water. So for the handmade pasta, the first one is the semolina and water dough. So I'll begin by pouring the semolina flour on my tabletop and making a center like a crater. And then I'll pour the water in slowly and add some salt. Then I will slowly integrate the flour and water together. Now at this point, I will still use my fork because if you use your hands, it will most probably stick to your hands, it will get really messy. Fun fact, ah, today is my first time doing pasta. So if anybody spots something wrong, please let me know in the comments below. Once you feel that it's not so sticky, you can start using your hands. Okay, once I knead the dough, it's starting to go back up. So just when I know it's ready. So the point of wrapping the cling film is to prevent the surface from getting hard and dry. So we'll just let this dough rest for about 30 to 40 minutes. So for my next recipe, I'll be doing an egg dough. Same as the previous recipe, I will pour the flour onto the table, make a crater in the center, crack an egg inside and add some salt and slowly incorporate the egg and flour together. Now this flour, you will notice that it's slightly wetter than your semolina recipe dough. And also because of the addition of the egg, right, the dough is more yellow in color. So earlier on, I've pre-made these doughs that have been rested for at least 45 minutes so they are good to go. So I'll be cutting it into like a one-third size first. So before you start rolling the dough, make sure you make the dough flat. <laughs> wow, really got a big hole to show. Ah. Okay, what to do if your dough, your rolled out dough has so many holes? Will you throw it away? No, don't panic. Just fold your dough more times into smaller folds. Since the store-bought pasta that I purchased was a pappardelle, which is slightly bigger than a fettuccine, I will try and mimic the same shape as what I bought from the supermarket. So what I do now is I will try to cut them into the same size as this. So for my beef bolognese sauce, I'll be preparing a non-stick pan. I'll add some oil and saute chopped garlic, chopped onion, then saute until it's fragrant. Then I'll add in ground beef tomato sauce. Then later on, I'll add a secret recipe which is barbecue sauce. So this recipe was taught by my grandma. So fun fact, my grandma used to sell chakui tiao and carrot cake in the army camp. Besides that, she was also a helper for our Angmoor family when she was young. So for the boiling of the pasta, I'll prepare a pot of salted water. So the reason to put salt is to season the pasta because we do not want flavoured sauce with bland pasta. So once the beef bolognese is ready, then we'll add in our cooked pasta. Then I'll fold everything together and start plating into a bowl. Then lastly, I will shave some parmesan cheese. And finally, the last touch is to add some chopped parsley. And with that, we are done with our beef bolognese pasta. So today, to taste my pasta bolognese, I have with me our editorial horror intern, Cheng Yuan, and for the fourth time, our resident taster, Ansel. I feel like I eat a lot of the food here already. Okay. <laughs> And you eat pasta outside, what do you like? Do you like cream? Do you like pesto? Do you like... Uh, I prefer cream. I prefer cream or pesto ragu one. Okay, let's start with the middle one. So what are we trying for today? Uh? Okay, so uh, there's one store-bought pasta and two okay. type of pasta that are homemade myself. It's a bit on the sweet side. Other than that, it tastes quite nice. Uh. It's slightly sweeter. I thought the fragrance was coming from that plate, but it seems like it's coming from somewhere. I feel like there's something hidden inside here. Yeah, I added some secret ingredient. You can guess it, you can get one leg on. <laughs> Oops. No, no, no. Ketchup. Mm -hmm. Okay, almost there, yeah. Worcestershire mm -hmm. sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's barbecue sauce. Oh. Mm. Mm. Okay. okay. I feel like this is more resistant. The pasta. 
The first one was a bit more chewy, more cute. Mm. This one is a flatter. It's not flatter for me. More uniform. Mm. Maybe the first one was the homemade one. Then what's the last one? Try what it. are you? Oh my god. This one's also very thick. I mean it. This is thicker. Like. Sorry. I like the first one. This one is thick, but this one is chewier. I think this one seems to be the mildest one. I thought, uh, yeah, I thought that that was way too thick. Even though I preferred this texture, I think in the end I went for. I think that's the thick. Mm. So okay. that looks like everybody prefers the semolina water pasta, including. Hey, but the barbecue sauce like a bit sweet, uh. If you like the sweeter kind and the still smoky flavor, you can try it. Uh. Yeah, personally, would you add barbecue sauce right. on this? No. How about you? No. Also no? Ah. Okay, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for helping me to taste. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. If you have any suggestions on what I should cook next, please leave it in the comments below. Okay, I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.